Stop playing. And we Ooh, got a guard chomp. Now, yes. Okay, now we got both commentators excited. Let's go. All right, so guard chomp decision. Have you been playing much of this matchup at all? Or? Um, I think only online, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it just depends. I mean, mm -hmm. I think if the, there's nothing like polarizing for either side, I believe. I think it's pretty even. Yeah, it's, it, it's pretty even. Mm -hmm. If you can get the right mix-ups with guard chomp, it's, it's, it's all right, so Fiora on that first phase change with that Spirit Shackle. Spirit Shackle in general is a very powerful move. Not only does it uh, very a very good projectile, very fast, but also it gets rid of your support. So never die. Trying to find his footing right here. I think he's trying to figure out what works. Yeah, find out his buttons. But um, Fiora just walling him out incredibly. Oh, Dig not able to quite get it there. But Dig in this situation with where a lot of their projectiles can be a very strong option. But never die. Really not getting used to the setup here. Fiora just keep throwing arrows at him, going in finally. Oh, Ooh, risky it's the grab. Critical. All right. Don't do his favorite. Finally up close. Oh, Pakistan is barely whiffing there. Fiora popping her burst and getting that attack right there. Very solid victory. All right, so Mulga, that's an interesting choice. Um, uh, this is in this um, matchup. I know when I'm playing Garchomp, not having my speed can be really, really detrimental. So being able to utilize that. Well, never mind. It's often used Evil Tall, which I have not personally used um, in a little bit as a support. Oh, I'm getting the combos now. All right, so Fiora getting some very, very nice combos. Not able to end it though. Going for acrobatics, acrobatics, and now we get another combo situation. Ooh, there we go. Nice stuff right there. Actually, only landing the second hit of six XX, which actually causes less scaling. Ooh, that counter piece oh, right the there. Gears. This might be it though. But Rage Defense might be able to save Never Ride. All right. So actually, interesting note right there. Um, she used acrobatic, but if you saw, it didn't do much damage. That's actually because um, Fiora has a full uh, synergy gauge that actually decreases the power that acrobatics does. Oh, but that spirit shackle right there, snagging that victory, solidly in two zero. Uh, so, I'm not quite sure um, what I can really recommend to never die. Um, maybe some sort of support that can really like um, help out like a lot faster than the evil tall. One of the main dip uh, disadvantages of using evil tall is that it's very, very slow. So I think something a little bit quicker would have helped. But I think Never Die is going to stick to what he knows and see what we can get out of this right here. If you are in a very, very commanding lead right now, Sidroy really working out in her favor. Now, oh, nice avoiding by Fiora and able to snag that right there. Nice counter. Not even playing the nice second speed, speed. Yeah. Oh, not able to get the combo. That's a very, very strict combo to land. Oh. Nice. Being out the acrobatic attempt. Ooh, Frenzy Plant beating out our 6 line. Dragon Rush. Dragon Rush is always a crit that Dragon Rush does so much damage. I know, it actually even, so got, rewarding. It even got more buffed in DX. It does even more damage, damage now. It's so good. It's still a very risky off though. It pretty much only beats Grab. It's still very strong at what it is. But never I need to figure out what he needs to do. Yeah, I think he's really, really having a hard time finding out what needs to be done, done. here. Oh, and Acrobatics there snagging the kill, even with the less damage it causes when you have full energy, still snagging that right there. Never die, not even at halfway on his own synergy gauge, not even gonna have that back up. One big problem I have with Star Trump is that um, his synergy is very slow. Second uh, second biggest in the game, only behind Mewtwo, tied with Gengar. Yeah, really hard to get that to get back an advantage. Ooh, nice um, Feather Dance right there, actually helping to attack debuff. Fiora, so much pressure right now. Never die having no situation to get out of it. Oh, oh they're stoning. The stone. Stone is a very, very strong move, but it is a bit of a hard call out because it is slower than a regular counter and very punishable if whiffed. Nice dash forward and grab right there, causing a support debuff. That Wadios is not coming out anytime soon. Oh, sniping it out of the air right there. Fiora might not even need to use her burst, and that grab, I believe, is going to end the game. Let's see. And yep, that is it. Fiora solidly going 2-0 against Never Die. Yep. That was a very commanding. Yeah, very, win. very commanding. Um, Fiora, she definitely knows the Garchomp matchup because she and I do play quite a bit, so she has had experience with this quite a lot. So she definitely was very comfortable with that and able to snag a very, very strong, strong win right there. Strong.